Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Um, hoping everybody is having a blessed day. Hoping everybody is washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and continuing to wear your mask, whether you got the vaccine or not. We're still in the midst of this pandemic. In Michigan, our numbers are going up. I don't know why. If people are getting vaccinated, why are the numbers going up? Kind of makes you wonder. Anyway, I want to talk about, um, it's going to be a quick video. It's going to be real quick. It's not going to be very long. I want to talk about God's kingdom like quick. I want us this when I have a marination or a meditation or both, I got to either put it on Facebook or YouTube. So, um, and I just think that's nothing but God putting things on my spirit. You know, Jehovah God is, he's put, he puts things in my spirit. And so when something is in my spirit, then I have to follow through with it and put the message out there. So whatever's on my heart and spirit, you know, um, I was, you know, if you guys caught my video where I was talking about the shooting of Dante, uh, right. Um, um, if you didn't get a chance to catch that video, go catch it. Um, and it's just, they had another tor terrible mass shooting in Indianapolis. Heart and prayers go out to those victims and families. Um, I had to tell myself to, I might have to hold back on the news again. Uh, I have to hold, I might have to hold back on the news. Sometimes I don't watch the news because I get so emotionally involved and really get emotional with a lot of the things that I watch in the news that's going on. And I'm already going through some things emotionally anyway. Um, and I'm, that's another video, um, I, I'm going to get through, but, um, I'm already going through some stuff emotionally anyway. So, and so when I watch different things that's going on in the news, it just really makes me even more emotional. And, um, what I was meditating on earlier is that June, you got to focus on the kingdom. Um, this stuff, uh, these police shootings and stuff like that is kind of, like I said, I said that in another video, I try not to be angry. Uh, as a black person, it's very difficult to not be angry about the injustices, not just towards black people, but just other races of people in general. Just, just the injustice against races of people, period. But I, of course, because I'm African American, I'm especially affected by um, what's going on with black people because I'm black, you know. Because that can happen to any one of us, you know. And um, injustice can happen to me or someone in my family or anybody, you know. So it's um, we we are not to turn a blind eye to it. We have to be aware of it. However. Um, we can't let it overwhelm us to the point to where we're so angry, you know, to where we can't focus on nothing else. And so I was meditating on that earlier and I was like, June, you got to focus on the kingdom. That's what came up in my spirit. You know, it's like you've got to focus on this on the kingdom. You know, I, I did a video back in a while back, a few months ago, talking about endurance if you find if I find a link to that video, I'll put it in the description box. I was talking about endurance. This stuff, the, all this injustice that's going on, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop. So what we have to pray for is endurance. We have to pray and ask God to help us to endure it. And he will give us that endurance, but we gotta we gotta ask for it. Just like we gotta ask for everything else. You know, we gotta ask for um 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 understanding and we got to pray and ask for understanding and amongst other things that we have to ask for because of the freedom of will that God gives us he doesn't force himself on anybody so we have to pray for that we have to pray and ask God to give us endurance and he will give it to us and so um 
we have to, it's, it's not going to change because we're at the end of the system. Satan's time is getting short. He's turning up the heat because he knows his time is getting short. So he's, he's turning up the heat. So we have to be spiritually ready. The end is near. It's very, very close. And so God's kingdom is going to come. And so that's what we have to focus on is God's kingdom. Because when God's kingdom come and Jesus returns, it, he, it, all this is going to be done away with. The evildoers, it, all, all this stuff, it, it, it's prophesied in the Bible. It's going to be all done away with. So we just have to endure till that time comes and things are going to get worse before it gets better. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's true. So we, we have to pray for endurance and asking Jehovah God to give us that endurance to endure, to give us the strength to endure. And at the same time, we have to maintain our integrity, maintain our grace. Even though we feel like we've been we 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 got we have to deal with injustice and stuff like that. And it makes us angry because we're only human. But we got to redirect ourselves. We have to re I I tell myself and I'm telling you guys too, we have to redirect ourselves. That's not easy. That's where the endurance comes in at. Okay? Because I find myself getting angry again. It it goes it comes and goes and splurts. So I had to tell myself to June, you may might have to lay off the news for a couple of days or so. <laughs> so, you know, that not just not trying to desensitize myself to it, but just so I can that I can keep my focus. You know, I can keep my focus spiritually, continue to maintain my grace and and, and endurance and enduring and just focusing on the kingdom. And so that's the, the recommendation that I give to you guys. We need to focus on the kingdom. Jesus come back when God's kingdom come. There will be no more injustice. There won't be any more racial discrimination. There won't be any more wars. There won't be any more poverty. There won't be any more sickness. There won't be any more death. But it's prophesied in the Bible. All this stuff is going to be done away with. The, the evildoers won't be no more. Satan's going to be in prison for a thousand years. So any anybody that's doing his works is going to be eliminated as well. So we won't have any evilness in anymore in the world. This world is not going to be destroyed. The Bible says the meek shall inherit the earth and dwell in it forever. The righteous will inherit the earth. And it's going to dwell up and dwell in it forever. So this earth is going to be turned back to a perfect paradise. The way God originally created it. So we just have to endure it until that time comes. And it's not easy. But we got to focus on the kingdom. If we focus on the kingdom... And when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me too. We got to focus on the kingdom. We got to focus on the kingdom. Because the Bible prophesies that this thing is that these things are going to go on in the world. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. So hit me up and let me know. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit me up in the comment section. Uh... Till the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.